Before we kick off the show, we want to say a special thank you to ZocDoc for sponsoring. Okay, sometimes searching for the right doctor is like Mad Libs. Okay, we're going to play Mad Libs, babe. Uh -huh. You need a blank specialist. Foot. Who takes your blank insurance? Car. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the doctor specialist. Oh. Who takes your blank insurance? Health. <laughs> <laughs> Who's within blank miles from you? Say it again. Who's within blank miles from you? Five. Who doesn't have a blank month wait to get in for an appointment? Six. Oh, who doesn't keep you in their waiting room for blank hours? Two. Who spends more than blank minutes with you in an exam room? Ten. Who can actually help you with that blank issue? Personal. Okay. <laughs> it actually makes you feel blank. Great. All right. Well, ZocDoc makes it easy to fill in those <laughs> blanks. <laughs> And to help you find the right doctor for your specific needs, there is ZocDoc. ZocDoc, ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high-quality in-network doctors and choose the right ones for your needs and click to instantly book a, an appointment. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty, from mental health to dental health, eye care to skin care, and much more. You can filter for doctors who take your insurance, who are located nearby, and who are a great fit for any medical need you have and are highly rated by verified patients. You can also see their actual appointment openings. Choose a time that works for you and click to instantly book a visit. Plus, ZocDoc appointments are happen fast, typically within 24 to 72 hours of booking. You can even score same-day appointments. We love ZocDoc. We've used it multiple times for the recent uh, nasal surgery that I had for Marcus's spine. We love ZocDoc. We trust it, and you should use it too. So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash argue, argue to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot -O com slash argue. Argue. ZocDoc.com slash argue. Argue. What's up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of... Is, is this, this going to cause, cause an, an argument? argument? My name is Angel Lakita Moore, a.k.a. Angel Tanksley, a.k.a. Magic Angel. That chick Angel. She work them and goes, ah, that chick Angel. And first of all, I actually like that as a hook, okay? <laughs> And I'm joined by my husband, who is so irritable right now, but I love him in every form he comes in. Tell him who you are, baby. I'm the other host of this is going to cause an argument, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank. Hey, fam, if it's your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. It's a podcast we do every single week, and we talk about whatever the hell we feel like it, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Uh, dang, it's favoring you. I ain't I'm over here talking. People can't even see me anyway. People don't even know what you're talking about in the I'm going to tell them. Okay. You, this is my part. Shut your mouth. Same <laughs> way I shut the hell up when you were doing that ignorant ass song. Mm -hmm. Hey, every I'm week we do this podcast, we are joined by our media family. Our media family are the people in Patreon. The reason we call them our media family is because we do all kinds of extra stuff. You know, you got the general people that you love and you like to be around. However, you got the immediate family live right there in your house that you can't get away from even if you want to. And that's, <laughs> and that's what we do. We got you <laughs> And we do movie nights. We do all kinds of extra stuff. We talk to them before and after every single podcast. What are we uh, doing during, with them currently? We doing a fitness challenge. Not fitness challenge. Wellness. Wellness challenge with our uh, family in Patreon. And you can be a part of that wellness challenge. You can be a part of that media family. All you got to do is go to patreon.com slash patreon that check angel sign up for the low, low of $5 a month and come on over and see all the stuff that gets edited out and censored. Also... If you're a part of the wellness challenge, you can win a prize. Cash. Okay. Rules money. Is it? Cash. Huh? Cash rules money every round. Of yeah, money. exactly. <laughs> Cash rules you're everything around me. Get the money. Cream, get Dollar the money. Dollar out of the bill, y'all. That's why I yeah. said. Cash rules everything around me. Get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. 
Yeah. You dance like you got Werther's Originals in your purse. <laughs> and, and ain't nobody dislike somebody like that. Mm, 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 mm. So anywho, anyway, any hell. Um, we are joined by some amazing sponsors as well. We are joined by actually a lot of sponsors. And we thank them for it because the holiday season's around the corner. Our sponsors are ZocDog, Every Plate, Equipped, Uncommon Goods, and Better Help. We'll tell you more about them later on the podcast. You already heard about ZocDoc. We'll tell you all about the rest. So um, let's jump into it. Why are you so irritated? You know why I'm irritated. Don't, did I irritate you? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, tell me why, how? It all started back in little fluffy black dog named Lottie. Fast forward, she got chewed up, snatched away and chewed up. Then we got another dog. Named Lala, who mm. I despise. He despises more more. all of my dogs. He despised Lottie. Lottie grew on me real quick. And Lala started growing on you no, until we did. added Castle. No, she just a little bit. Uh, I despise this dog more and more every single day. Mm. Like, as, as soon as I think, oh, there's no way I could hate this dog more than I do. I wake up the next morning and she does something else. And I'm like, oh, I can't hate her more. You're so rude. Uh, then Angel, she be traveling. She be gone. And that leaves the dogs in the care of me. But because we got a little rat dog that can possibly get chewed up by a crow, possibly, I had to get another dog, Castle. He's outside right now. Got, no, no, no. Don't make it seem like... That's one of the reasons we got Castle. The re only reason why we got Castle is because we wanted security at our house. It has nothing to do with not she exists or not. I would have been fine with cameras. Get some more cameras. We got cameras. Get more cameras. Get more high tech cameras. I want cameras that take DNA. I'd have been perfectly not fine with that. She knows how much I like dogs. So what'd she do? She fed the beast. He's always yelling at the dog. I ain't always yelling at the dog. He sleeps most of the time. He's always, but why is that? You know that this is the hard phase. It is. So why are you so irritable like you don't know? Because I'm still in it. Just because I know it's the hard phase don't mean I'm gonna be like, hey, it's so bad. Hey. No, I'm living in the moment. That's what they say. <laughs> Live in the moment. <laughs> Why is that funny? Because it is. Living in the moment. I thought it was funny, so I laughed. I was asking you to, to explain the joke, not be a jazz. I, didn't, that, I did explain it. I thought it was funny. No, I meant to explain it to, to explain the joke to me. I, I know I'm missing what the punchline is, so I was asking you to explain it. That's all I can explain. I can't explain it no further. All right, then. Let's start off with Tesla Pride. If you've never watched our podcast before, Tanksley Pride is where we do a segment where we talk about one, two, three, four, however many of our sons, because we have four of them, a 15-year-old, nine-year-old twins, and a beautiful five-year-old. So, would you like to start off with your Tanksley Pride story? No, you go story? ahead. I just talked. Perfect. My Tanksley Pride story has to do with my youngest, Amar. Uh, he is affectionately known as the landlord or slumlord. He is all about Halloween, like most kids are. And I asked him what he wanted to be for Halloween about a month ago. And he said, I want to be a house. And I said, wait, what? Do you mean, like, uh, what do you mean a house? He was like, you I want to be a house. And let Mark talk about the doctor. <laughs> the he ain't seen that show. He's like, no, I want to be a house. I was like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I like, I want to be like our house. How long ago did you have him? A month. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's about you. I say longer than that. I checked back in with him. Maybe two weeks later. He says house again. So this past week I bought their, their Halloween costumes. One more time. I was like, all right, Amar, what do you want to be for Halloween? He was like, I want to be a house. Like he's telling yeah. me like, now I know I didn't told you now. Ask me again. So I was able to find, cause I was like, oh man, we're gonna have to build this house thing. I was trying to figure out, I was like, we can get some foam core and make the shape, but it's gotta be lightweight so that he can carry it on his body. Luckily, Up, the movie Up, there's a costume for that. It's uh, 
the house, but then like with balloons that you can put on your head, he's not going to use that. His biggest thing was he wanted to make sure that the house covered his legs because in the, in the picture, you can see his legs. So I know I'm going to have to sew some green on there for the lawn for his house. But I don't know where Mar gets these ideas and, and gets these like, I want to be these certain things from because he's completely like it's it's not something that he doesn't watch shows about houses. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, what has he seen to where he's seen talking houses? <laughs> like, what show? I'm not sure where he got these ideas from because everybody else Cy wants to be a ninja, which kind of is fitting for Halloween. Kai wants to be a character from Craig, uh, Craig on the Creek, Craig of the Creek, this black character named Omar, and little Marcus wants to be Deadpool. All of these characters make sense. I don't know what's happening in Omar's mind. It is, I don't know who we're raising. That's what it all boils down to. This five-year-old, I don't know what's going on in the least bit. I don't know who we're raising, but Gotta love them. Okay, what's your tank surprise story? Uh, as y'all, a lot of y'all know, I already talked about boys started playing flag football. Mm -hmm. Um, so they both got quarterback positions, which is especially I want to see if they just randomly assign kids positions or if they actually see who was good to what. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, my boys for them to have never played uh football. I worked with them on throwing the football before, and they do pretty good. And they probably uh, threw a lot of summer with their cousin Micah, who plays everything. Um, so for them to pick my sons to be quarterback on the same team, mm -hmm. I'm wondering what what's, what's going on over here. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I went and got him a football, and I told him, you know, what drills to do. I showed him, you know, more techniques on throwing on. Um, when you pass into somebody this motion and all that crap. And so when the first rule I got for him is when I got the football, because um, we have a hill in our backyard. We have like the fence and then there's a steep hill that drops down into our property and then it goes beyond into this into another property. I said, whatever y'all do, do not let this ball, because they done lost a whole bunch of stuff over the fence. You can just look down at the hill and just see all of our crap. Yeah. Uh, I said, whatever y'all do, do not let this ball go over this fence. Okay? Do not let the ball go over the fence. Pay, pay attention to what you're doing. Y'all didn't last 24 hours. The ball went over the fence. They came and told me. The ball was over the fence. It went it over didn't the even fence. didn't last an hour, I don't think. No, it lasted the first day because the ball went up to their room. Oh. It was, this was the next day. No, they didn't even tell me. I think it took them a while to pay something. So I was like, how did it go over the fence? Oh, it bounced over the fence. It just bounced over the fence. They just looked. Mainly Kai, so I knew he was the one that had to throw it or something. It bounced over the fence. I was like, where did it go? Oh, which part of the fence? Did it go over on this side, on that side? I don't know. I said, how did y'all lose the ball? What happened? <coughs> I threw it to Amar, and Amar let it bounce up. First of all, why are you throwing the ball to Amar? <laughs> They getting them ready. That's all. Number one. You should, if you throw the ball to anybody, it needs to be either to me or your brother. Nobody else. Yeah, and then you let it bounce over the fence. No, you let it bounce over the fence. So where did it go? Where was Amar standing? Right here. So that bounced over on this side of the yard, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she wanted my hair. Now it's time to tell you about our next sponsor. And as we affectionately call them, what, babe? Plates. Every plate. Yes. Listen, when I tell you yesterday, I was trying to make some salmon and tried ordering salmon from the grocery store twice and didn't get it either time. I wanted to rip out my hair. We still don't have salmon. Still don't have it. Oh, well, hack the busy season and let every plate save you time and money with $2.99 meals. Give your budget a break this fall with affordable recipes America's best from America's Best Value Kit. 
Indulge in flavorful variety with every plate, rotating menu of 26 weekly recipes that you can count on to be delicious. Focus on making fall plans, not planning meals, with dinner options ready in 30 minutes or less. Save time with every plate's tasty, no-fuss recipes and pre-portioned ingredients delivered to your door. Juggling a busy schedule? Save yourself a trip to the grocery store and grab and go snacks and easy with grab and go snacks and easy to assemble lunches to, for your um, weekly box in your weekly box with affordable dinners for just two dollars ninety nine cent per serving on your first box. Every plate helps you save money for fall family fun. Join every plate today and pay only two dollars ninety nine cent per meal. Plus, get fifty percent off your first box for all box sizes. Get this amazing deal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast podcast and entering code argue two nine nine argue two nine nine. That's code argue two nine nine argue two nine nine at everyplate.com slash podcast podcast. Thank you, every plate plates. We got all these balls down the hill. We got soccer balls, footballs, tennis balls, basketballs, frisbees. A bike somehow went down there, Some a couple of stuffed animals. I ain't going on the hill no more. The hill is a lot steeper than what it looks. It looks extremely steep. But then you get on the hill, and it's even steeper than that. Uh, if you start going down this hill, there's no momentum. You can barely, even standing up, like... There's no momentum. I mean, there's no uh, there's no uh, give or no... Uh, what's it called? What am I trying to say? Mm-hmm. Um, the hill don't give a shit what you're trying to do. <laughs> I can't think for the <laughs> There's no tolerance on the hill. The hill gives absolutely no tolerance. If you start going that direction, you're going to go. It's even just standing up. If you're not on, like, if your foot ain't standing, like, on a rock or catch something sturdy, you're going to slide. Like, mm -hmm. that's how steep it is. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not going back down that hill. And I told him, I went and got him another ball. I said, y'all can't even, don't ever let this ball leave your hand in the backyard. You got to go to the front yard. Mm -hmm. You got, I don't care what it is. You don't even throw a thought in the backyard. Don't throw insults in the backyard. You take everything to the front. Only thing you do in the backyard is walk through the backyard to get to the front. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I said. What else I say? It's going to be good enough right now. All right. <laughs> so moving on to our next segment, which is Hot Takes Lee Takes. Hot Takes Lee Takes. This is where my husband, who has got a lot of irritability due to life, due to his family, due to dogs. Due to dogs. No, you said me too. At the top. I mean, that just comes with marriage. Due to family, due to the dogs, and he just finished Don't complaining. Don't put that on about, the rest of the family. You just finished complaining about the boys. <laughs> You act like that ain't abnormal. I didn't say right. that it was. Uh, due to my husband having irritability, I want to do hot tanks we take so he can let off the rest of this steam. That's what I was saying. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do a hot tanks we take. Oh, bless the Lord. Where my husband... Oh, tell him what it is, baby. It's a segment that we do... Angel just throws me a random topic, and I give my like or dislike about it. I just do a riff. Mm-hmm. And today... I never know what it's going to be. And today is going to be the same, because your hot tank sleep take is going to be on fall, a.k.a. Autumn. autumn. What am I... Am I... What you don't like, the regular smegular. Usually I like fall. But I'm going to tell you why fall's pissing me off right now, because it's still 103 damn degrees in California, where we live. And it's really, truly pissing me the hell off. Fall's supposed to be cool, supposed to be nice, brisk temperatures. I'm from down Midwest, Southeast, I don't know what you want to call it, Kentucky, but that's where I'm from. Fall's supposed to be absolute, absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. You look at the trees, you're supposed to see red leaves, yellow, brown, orange, Sometimes they pink. It's beautiful to look at. Out here, you get straight brown dead desert and it's still hot. It's truly pissing me off. It's supposed to get rid of all the bugs outside, all the mosquitoes. You ain't supposed to get none of that in the fall. That frees you up. Even though all people say, oh, it can be depressing because the trees are dying and all this. They pretty when they die. And if they ain't dying, they just going to hibernation. One. And two, you get rid of all the crap that pisses you off in the summertime. The heat, the humidity, and the insects. Get rid of it. No, we stuck with it right now. 
We getting swarmed by flies and all kinds of shit that pisses you off that ain't supposed to piss you off in the fall. It's supposed to be the change of weather and the clothes, you know, because of the change of weather, you get the clothes. You get to put on a little more layers. You get to dress a little more. I like to dress. Okay, I'm sick and tired of wearing these punk ass shorts I got I got to wear all the time. I ain't found my uh, the what I love about shorts at least th in this age of life. So right now I got cargo shorts and I hate them. I don't want the ones uh, sweatpants. You know sweat what's it called sweat shorts sweatpants material. Yeah, I guess so. Call them sweat shorts. Sweat shorts. <laughs> I don't want to throw them on because they're comfortable, but they hot. That defeats the purpose of wearing shorts. Oh, sweatshorts are hot for you? Yeah. I think you probably got the ones that are lined in fleece. No. Well, yeah. Even the ones that ain't, though. They're still hot to me. Mm, I got to get you some good ones. Now, your print's going to be crazy. Well, I won't yeah, mind it. Yeah, well, shut up and don't mind it. I love it. You the one who no, changed you, it no, by you pointing it out. You, and you I hear you look at you. Just, you you're paying off. You're just looking forward to it anyway. This, that's what's pissed me off about fall. Right now, fall ain't shit. Or should I say summer ain't shit? Because summer should have left. Summer, you need to take your ass home. Go to bed. It's fall's turn. Autumn, both of them. Come on in here. Let us enjoy you. Everybody's pumpkins and shit getting all hot and rotting all quick. Because your ass, summer wouldn't show up. That's my tank to take. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hot thing to say. Is it just California fall that you don't like? It's hot everywhere. Who else ain't hot? Why all your cargo shorts be busting at the the butt? Marcus be, booty booty be out. Look, <laughs> and then he wonders why I'm be trying to get in that butt. His butt is always showing. That's a good way to get knocked out. But look, uh -uh. y'all lately, right at the back of my shorts, right there where the two pockets are. They be ripping. I don't even know it. I just be out in public and I feel my wallet. And I, you know, even the thinnest fabric can be, I'm like, that ain't the same fabric. That feel like my drawers. <laughs> it's because you're It's a big tear. Now, what happened? You got that donk. Back in. Show uh, that ass. Well, which was it? April, May, June. End of May, beginning of June, had a back injury and I can't bend over the same. And I think that's what contributed and to so it. And so when you bend over, all that booty meat no. be all busted. No, because I, I, I grabbed, you know, for a while I had to grab my knee <laughs> and squat down. And then grabbing the knee, squatting, holding the shorts. Because if I grab my knee or, you know, grab my thigh, and if I'm holding my shorts, if that's under my hand, then it's restricting the shorts. And y'all know I got my wallet back here. I got this phone and that phone. It's just a lot going on, and it just be because it, it just started like a couple months ago, which is when I had the back. Injury. You gotta pull it up to your pull it up high five. If also, you wore shorter shorts, if you wore, uh, I'm not going to. Sugar also, daddy shorts, what do they call? High also, all the shorts Pushy that have daddy. torn, I got on Amazon for real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon had like sixty different colors and patterns of these shorts. I said, give me nineteen. And I didn't, well, I, I replaced two pair and I said, I'm not Why don't you let shorts. me get you Hoochie Daddy shorts? Because I'm not going to wear them. You got me Hoochie Daddy shorts. Why won't you wear Hoochie because Daddy shorts? Because that ain't shorts? me. I'm not doing it. Okay, so you tell me what your disdain for them is. I don't like how short they are. And you feel like more of your leg needs to be covered? Yes. But you have such pretty legs. Okay. Why don't you? I got a pretty dick too. I don't know how just trashing <laughs> there, but... Motherfucker's gorgeous. You said so yourself. I ain't out here. Hey, <laughs> hoot your daddy dick all in your face. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why ain't that got be shown? <laughs> Patreon, what y'all, what y'all think? Should I just be swinging and langing out here in these streets because it's pretty? I can design oh. the shorts. If I can make it popular, let it run in. <laughs> it gets recovered fast enough. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you your foul it. Negro, is that your legs don't aren't don't have to be a part of having sex. Okay. That don't either. That's got many other uses. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is that your legs... Many other uses. I be pushing doors open. 
<laughs> if I'm working on the car, I'm like, let me, I left that tool over there. Let me use it for this. <laughs> Just the <a> tool. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think you would look nice in shorter shorts. I know you don't like, you don't want to wear them. I get it. But I think you would look very nice. Just a little bit shorter. I'm not talking about the ones that a lot of the uh, younger guys wear or gay men wear. I'm just a little bit shorter. Marcus likes his to like, what's the shortest you'll wear your shorts? Above the knee. Right above the knee, like a good Christian woman. Yeah. I'm saying, just give, give me us an a inch little... or two above the knee. That's all you're getting. Just give me. I don't get much. I don't get, I barely get below the knee. Usually it's above the knee or at the knee. I just want like four to six inches below above. the knee, feel way too long. Four to six inches above the knee. No. I already gave in to your little silly too small shirt sweater thing. I'm not doing nothing You else. called it silly, but then you also realized you look good in it. No. I look good in a form-fitting shirt. You like the ones that are too small. Literally. Too small. No, you said sweater thing. Swe I said shirt sweater thing. I don't know what you mean by too if small. If it has a button on it, the button, she, she wants the button just to pull just a little bit. No. Which is too small. No, that's not what the I want. Sleeves too short. It's that's all not... cutting up in my own. Ooh, this looks nice. It's too small. No, 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 no. I don't like for the button to be tugged at at all. I do like sometimes shorter sleeves on you. I do think that looks nice. I'm not saying that that has to be the thing, but I don't like boxy. Me either. The fact that my shirts was already form-fitting and you wanted them tighter lets me know no, you're your not good were not at this. Form-fitting. They were. What shirts? All my goddamn shirts are form-fitting. What shirts? All. All means all and that's all all means. No, they're not form-fitting. You're, you, it's not like they tugging on your tummy. That's not form-fitting. That's snug. Was form fitting? Form fitting then? meaning it cuts to my body. It ain't baggy and big. Actually, actually, the sweat outfit that Angel got me, she got me two of these things that I didn't like because they was too goddamn baggy. Because it, it, you see, I like variety. You see? And, every, and I was like, Angel, this fits too big. No, this is nice. This is what's in. No, those gods, fear, fear of God. Essential, fear of God. Those look great on you. The sweatpants look great. That so shirt the, looked like I was about to try to jump off a cliff and hang glide down because it was so goddamn bad. It looks so Too many good. people said, that's a nice sweatsuit, but that shirt is big. And it was way too goddamn big. It looked good. And it wasn't because it was in style that I liked it. The mm. brand was in style. I liked how that looked on you. It was trash. It wasn't but trash. But I won't. It was, that shirt was trash. Sweatpants I kept. I still got both the black and you the... You got uh, rid of the shirts. They so far back in my closet, I'm not going to find them until I start throwing stuff away. No worry. I'll pull them for it. And I will throw them away. I'll donate them. I ain't going to throw them away. We're about, to have cold, we're about to have cold weather. No, we're not. Yes, we our are. Our cold weather is, it gets cold at night. I'll give you that. It'll be cold soon. It won't. The earth is ending. Global warming. Yeah, Actually, it's not took, global warming. What's the new? You took that <laughs> inhale and I was like... <laughs> Huh? He said, "He said, climate change, uh, global warming didn't work, so now they they, they changed it to climate change." <laughs> the idiot said, "It didn't work." <laughs> We've got a new sponsor today, and I'm excited to introduce you to them because they are definitely handling something that's really important and should not be ignored. We want to talk to you all today about something that's not a lot of people are talking about: eating disorders. If you're concerned about your child's relationship with food or your own, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's episode, Equip. Equip is a virtual evidence-based eating disorder treatment program that is covered by most major insurance plans. Every Equip patient has access to a dedicated care team, including a therapist, dietitian, medical provider, and mentor. Eating disorders are easy to miss because they often show up in ways you wouldn't expect. Some signs of eating disorder, of an eating disorder, include feeling out of control around food, extreme picky eating, starting a rigid diet, or not letting yourself eat enough food. 
Eating or exercising in secret and feeling anxious at mealtime could also be a signs of an eating disorder. There are a lot of stereotypes around who gets eating disorders, but the reality is that they can affect people of all ages, genders, races, and body sizes. You don't have to have a formal diagnosis to get care from Equip for you or your child. Visit equip.health forward slash argue to learn more. That's equip.health forward slash argue. Argue. Thank you, Equip, for sponsoring today's podcast. I was so um, happy when I found out we would be working for them because especially this month uh, where we, um, of October, where we're focusing on just really tackling anything that we might be going through, I think Equipped is a great way to be able to really focus on you and your family and ways to live the best life, especially if there's anything happening around your relationship with food. Now, as we head into the holiday season, I'm so happy that we have uncommon goods to go into the holiday season with. Um, you know, listen, I love, what I love about uncommon goods is that you're going to get something so unique and so timely and just perfect for someone that you love for the holidays. They make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for original, handmade, and absolutely remarkable things for everyone on your list. This gifts, uh, these gifts spark joy, wonder, delight, and it's exactly what I needed feeling. Whether you're shopping for your secret Santa or your entire family, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. Here's a few favorite gifts I found on their site. I told y'all, they have this one situation for those of you all who have family members that are like bookworms. Um, it it uh, It's able to hold your book as well as hold your phone. It's like this whole situation so that you don't feel like you're having to like hold your own book on your own, hurt your neck and all that. They also have some beautiful coasters. That's why I'm looking at it right now. It holds your book. Not only does it hold your book, your phone holds your glasses and your coffee mug. They also have some of the cutest little things like advent calendars for kids, uh, things to hold your glasses. They also have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, tea. Like if you have somebody who loves tea, they have these beautiful tea situations. I just love Uncommon Goods because I like when I can give a gift that doesn't feel like I just went and got it from some random store and it was on the end cap of an aisle. Mm -hmm. love it when it feels like it's special when you shop at uncommon goods you're supporting artists and small independent businesses many of their handcrafted products are made in small batches so shop now before they sell out this holiday season uncommon goods looks for products that are high quality unique and often handmade in the united states and they have the most meaningful out of the ordinary gifts anywhere they even have gifts that you can personalize from holiday host to hostess gifts to the coolest finds for kids to hits for everyone uh for everyone from book lovers to diehard sports fans, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not just the same old selection you can find anywhere. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they'll give $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than $3 million to date. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash argue. Argue. That's uncommongoods.com slash argue. Argue. For 15% off, don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods. We're all out of ordinary all right time to do our uh discussion of the day instead of topic of the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this morning i woke up to seeing red man <laughs> do a cameo for k stage because he couldn't say kept on stage <laughs> kept on K stage. no he said k stage yeah k yeah, stage that's what i said and then it was something else <laughs> Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it three, four times. Okay. I, I text Kevin. So, who would be the person that, if you were doing something, you would want to market? Redman. <laughs> That's why you told me. Redman, one of my favorite MCs ever. Mm -hmm. But random. A random person? Yes. First of all, Kevin sent me the list of the people yeah. whose cameos. Did he send First, you the list? No, no, no. Oh. No, we were talking, we were going back and forth about the Red Man thing, and I was just like, this hurt me. 
like for real hurt me. And then he texts me what he sent him to say. <laughs> he oh. said it was such an uncle moment because this is what I told him to say, and it was short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't have, it didn't have nothing about because he apparently he did his research. It didn't have nothing about stage crew on there. Mm. It was just like <laughs> congratulations, Kev on stage. You know, doing the. T- it was very short. It's like it could have been done in ten seconds. Now, Red Man was like, man, let me do it. Kevin said, that's the best money I've ever spent. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> now, Red Man, uh, so yeah, that would be on brand for me. That's off brand for Kevin. Yes, that's why I love I would have I didn't. I'm not I would have questioned if Kevin even knew who Red Man was. I'm not from going being in to the church. spoil it, but the people who Kevin has paid for cameos for, and if they all do them, you all will feel like you are tripping on some sort of drug <laughs> that's so, what you gonna feel like me being me mm-hmm. for me to go like completely random and have a, somebody do a cameo for me uh i would let me think because we brought up kev and the, the polar opposite i'm just thanking kurt franklin for some reason Oh, Marcus. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that would definitely be. Just random, like, get, Franklin? Get man S-H-Y-T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you are a man of God. That's what we're going to call it, man spirit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way. Now, we know Kurt because of him, but ain't no way he going to. If- and now I was trying to think of, uh, if not Kirk, if I'm staying on that same vein, Joel Osteen. <laughs> that, let me tell you the tears that would fall down my eyes. <laughs> if Joel Osteen did a man shit cameo for you, I would cry. I would absolutely cry. I'm trying to think of who's not on brand for me. I feel like so many people are on brand. Yeah. Matt would be, yeah, I can think. There's people I can think of. I can't think of their names, but I'm like, ain't none of these people. It's a whole, I only got like eight people on brand for me. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who would be like, what? And Joel Osteen, I think people would think your account got hacked. <laughs> They'll be like some Asian person, not not Asian person, some Asian country. Would China, was it China that, that, uh, they feel like hacked into our system at one point in time. Yeah, was it think, China? I think so. China, North Korea, one of them countries that ain't as friendly with us. Mm-hmm. Then hacked into Marcus's system, did an AI of Joe Osteen to jump into here. And I capitalized on it for as long as I could. <laughs> <laughs> to his lawyers hit me up. CC says, my bad. <laughs> I would say maybe Elmo. Mm-hmm. It, I think a fictitious character. Yeah, Russia. Oh, God. Shy, let me tell you, if y'all better know that uh, that I definitely was hacked, if Shy. Who's Shy? Ooh, da da do da da Oh, Shy. Ooh, da da do <laughs> Y'all better know. I would I would shut down. But that's still on brand for you, just because you in the music. There's people that know that you don't like a song because people are wore it out, but... That'd still be on brand for you. It would. Any be. black artist that does R and B would be on brand for you. I know. Maybe Eric Clapton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do something like that. Somebody real, even though I love Eric Clapton. But if I had an Eric Clapton, first of all, I'd be ecstatic. Ecstatic. Did I tell Jake what? Gyllenhaal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to think like what? Well, I have to go even older. I want older. I need older and white. Like, not somebody that you could see, like, oh, he was funny or he's funny. It had to be somebody like, like, even though she couldn't, of course, like, somebody like a Betty White wouldn't be able to because it's like. I would be so ecstatic. Yeah, of course, anybody would, but it was like, some we could see her doing something like that. Mm-hmm. I'd be so ecstatic. Speaking of which, this is a little bit off topic. I think I told TikTok, but did I tell y'all that Anja New Ellis knows who I am? You ain't tell the people? I think I told TikTok, but I didn't tell these people because I think I found out after we had already shot this. They said Clint Eastwood. That would definitely be crazy. Andrew New Ellis. Yeah, he MAGA. 
she, uh, if y'all don't know who she is, she was the lead of the movie cast. Oh, excuse me. Lead of the movie Origins um, by M Ava DuVernay. She was Dr. Maddie Moss in the Clark Sisters movie. She is also my Soror. Uh, she, in every good movie that you can think of, she has elevated it. I don't even, I, like, I love her. She's happening, she, it just so happens that she's filming a movie um, close to our hometown. And she ran into one of my closest friends because he is also working on the movie. And he brought me up. And she said, oh, I love that girl, Angel. She's like, I've never met her, but I love her. She is so funny. Yes, she was an undercover Jocelyn. brother. Y'all, she's in my top, my top five actresses. Everything she does is just so on point. So the fact that she was aware of that I'm even alive, y'all, day was made. Day was made. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Another little piece of thing. Sorry. Conversation is veering. So I went to this Jack and Jill thing. And one of the mothers was talking about her birthday just passed. And she was getting all these boxes to the house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, apparently it was a gift that her husband was getting her. And she was afraid that it was, um, what do you call it? She was afraid that it was an entertainment center. And she was about to be pissed. Like, oh, she yeah. was like, why the hell would he give me an entertainment center? He, she had said, she's an attorney, big time attorney. She had always said that if she wasn't an attorney, she would have been a DJ, right? <laughs> well, he bought her a full DJ setup. Turntables and stuff. Uh, Turntables and stuff and booked her 20 different lessons with DJs all across the country. Mm. And so she had her second lesson right before we saw. She said, I can now mix. She <laughs> was too like... <laughs> Two songs from like the 80s. She's like, I can mix this song into this song. We were like, what's your DJ name? She was like, DJ Cole Red. She was like, that was my line name when I was online. <laughs> I thought that was one of the best gifts I've ever heard anybody pull off. Because this is the type of gift that somebody else got to do for you because you ain't going to do it on your own because you're not going to make the time. Do you have something like that? that you would just be like, she was listening to me. Because after she said that, I was like, huh, I wonder what clues I'm not picking up for Marcus. That I like, I feel like I did it halfway once when I got him guitar lessons, mm -hmm. bass lessons. Um, it didn't work out with yeah. the schedule. Yeah, it didn't work. That would have been like, if I had the time, because that would have been something I would have to practice every day after work. On the weekends, I'm like, you ready to get back to it? Nah. You want? Mm -mm. You don't want that as a gift? No. It'll be too much Hell of a burden. No. Why? I don't want it. Uh, cause I ain't gonna practice. You don't want to? I ain't got the time. I don't want to make the time. I was gonna I say you do have the time. What would you rather be doing? Training dogs. I mean, once well, eventually the they will be trained. Uh. Doing things to make more money. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was trying to think. That was like a dope gift, but especially at the time, I was really into them damn guitar. We got so many guitars. Uh, I don't know. That was that's, that's something. Like at one point in time, I wanted to uh, not even flight lessons. I just wanted to be able to go on a fighter jet and take a ride. You know, you can actually do that. Are you too tall? I'm too tall. Mm -hmm. I think the maximum height is like six foot or five. 11 or something like that, uh, just because there's literally no room for it, for me in the fighter jet. So that was dis. Me and Wendell discovered that. That was disappointing. Mm -hmm. That was one. That was on my bucket list. Oh, I'm getting in that fighter jet. Do the training to where if you hit so many G's, like you got to like put pressure on your body mm -hmm. so you don't pass out. Like yeah, give me all of it. This show is sponsored by Better Help. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one time where I did not think I could be my full self, and actually I can think of 
multiple times where I felt like, mm, I might need to hide a little bit of me, especially dealing with new people that have a, a certain way that they prefer people to behave, especially as a black woman. Well, October is the season for wearing masks in costumes, but some of us feel like we wear a mask and hide more often than we want to at work, in social settings, or around our family. Therapy can help you learn to accept all the parts of yourself so that you can take that mask off because masks should be for Halloween fun and not our emotions. Now, mind you, I was doing this for tactic reasons because eventually Angel makes sure you see all of her fully. And that's something that I'm grateful for therapy about is because as I try to help people understand me better, that only happens by allowing them to see me in my fullness. Um, and I know that there are times that we are dealing with trauma or shame that has been put on us by, by either family members or when we were kids. Um, and we have to learn how to shed that. And that typically only happens when you have a licensed therapist at your side walking you through it. So if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, go on over to BetterHelp and give it a try. One is completely done online, so it makes it flexible as well as affordable. You can do it wherever you want to, whether it be in your living room, your your basement, your garage. It's not like traditional therapy where you're going into an office. So, baby, you got you got wherever. If you want to sit outside in the backyard and do therapy, mm -hmm. you can also take a short questionnaire. Well, you will take one, and you'll be paired with a licensed therapist. And if you all don't vibe, you can switch at any time with no additional cost. Um, so take off the mask with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash argue, argue today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash argue. Argue. Uh, race car on a track. To go get to experience driving a race car on a track. Yeah. Not, it ain't got to be like Formula One or something like that. Mm-hmm. But like one of those to where like Porsche and Ferrari or BMW, they'll have those things where like they'll let people do a training and like drive around the track. Um, that would be dope. Bishop did that. I can believe it. Reese, he did it like this year. No, um, but I don't have I don't have anything like uh, like what you like the DJ thing, which is if that's something that somebody really want to do, that is dope. I can't think of anything like that that I would, that I've like, oh, I'd like to do that, but I ain't going to do that. I can't really truly think of anything. I got a couple ideas. So. Please don't. You know what? <laughs> I'm about to say them all. <laughs> One, which I said I was going to do and I still might eventually do, is finding a personal trainer that has specifically worked with people who have the type of back, like recurring injuries. Like I would actually love to work with a trainer who has the exact same type of back injury as Marcus. That's like shredded. Yeah. Even I'll go ahead. That I would prefer, uh, even though I know women, women trainers are great. That's what I typically use. I would actually prefer someone like your stature that really understands like, you know, when you're like, I'm not doing a full range of motion squat, but somebody who's tall that's able to be like, this is what we're going to do to do this. So <clears throat> there's already common language because there's common experience in yeah. a lot of ways. Uh, <clears throat> that was something I had to like uh, doing physical therapy right now, which uh, they got me doing. They actually got me doing a lot of dope stuff and I'm going to carry over even after physical therapy. But the dude that's got me like, he's short. And he's got me doing warm ups and like squats and lunges, doing different stuff, and then workout and squats and lunges. By the time we get to the like six or seven thing, I was like, hey, I said, this is a lot of work for me to get down here and stay down here and stay in this position. I said, from my height, it's a lot. So I'll back out of something like, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Switch over to some core stuff. <laughs> because I, I, my, my quads and my knees ain't doing nothing else. No, absolutely not. <clears throat> and that's what he was like. You do have a lot further to travel than a lot of people. It was like, yeah. He was like, that's a good point. That's, I was like, thank you for understanding. <laughs> so that's what I, I want someone, I would love to be able to find you a trainer that the common language and knowledge is already there so that one, 
there's already an immediate, there will be an immediate trust for you because mm-hmm. you're like, you get You know it. what's up, yeah. And if there's anything that he is oppositional to you, you can then at least trust his knowledge base because it's like, okay, you already know what my concern is because you've gone through this concern. Mm-hmm. So if you're telling me it's the opposite thing or different than what I'm saying, you're not saying it just out of ego. You're saying it because you truly have experienced what I'm saying. Um, there's that. The other thing that I've thought about doing like for Father's Day, but I would love to do it for um, more classes. I mean, more yeah, multiple classes is either a hibachi or grilling class. Marcus already grills really well, but like, you know, there are people who are like grill masters. Like that's what they do. I would love for him to be able to do one of those classes so he can even come up with like more things that are his signature thing based off of these are people who like, this is what they have done. This is what they've dedicated their life to. And they can be like, okay, if you want to do, if you want to be able to pull off this type of taste, this type of da 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 da, you do this. Same thing with his seasoning. Marcus is usually just throwing stuff together to come up with his rub. Not so much with the thought of, oh, you know what would be nice with this? Like apricot flavor. You know, like... Uh, (laughs) No, because I do cater to a flavor. Yes. But but I don't know how to mix like... This flavor, this flavor is going to make it taste like this. Yes, that's Like I have a either... Is is it going to be a sweet? Is it going to be a a mesquite? Is it going to be more of a barbecue... A lemon yeah. pepper, I season that way. Yeah, but I'm talking about the more, yeah. like when people are like, this is my dry rub, they know without a shadow of doubt every single ingredient that yeah. came together where Marcus is more of, I'm grabbing this mix, this mix, putting it together because I'm hoping for a barbecue. Anyways, something like that. Especially I do more of a base. Uh, of a what? I do a base. When you grill? I do a... This is, I want a smoke flavor. And you grab I'm going to grab the other stuff, but it's still going to have this as the base. Like, oh, this has a, a, base, a smoke flavor. This has a lemon pepper. This has an apple. This has a cherry. Yeah. That's how it, you, the way you explain it, it makes it sound like I don't do that. Okay. I, that's what I meant. I, I know I'm yeah. just saying the specificity of I'm pulling smoked paprika. I'm pulling cumin. I'm pulling this to then create whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that would be. Uh, I think that would be fire. And then the other thing, I. I think it was way too. What? How did you describe it when I did sent you to them perfume classes? That was you. Uh, you need to. Those are classes that you can't just like the way I took them. You can't just take a perfume class like that and start, you can't start there. Mm-hmm. There's things you got to know before then. They have you start there. They people that ain't like me that had never done that. But there's so much to understand before that, like to mix two different fragrances to get like the same thing with the seasoning. You mix two different things that have nothing to do with each other to make a specific fragrance, like to come up with the fragrance of vanilla. Mm-hmm. The things you mix together to throw that together, ain't you were like, why does that make that? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, See, so yeah, that that was fire, but it was way above my head. I was just like, okay. Even the stuff that the fra- flavors, not the flavors, the fragrances that I like. When I was, uh, I was like, oh, I like, uh, I like this type of fragrance. I like sandalwood. I like this. I like that. Smelling that stuff by itself, terrible. Terrible. Even when making that fragrance smell good, you don't even use that fragrance. Mm -hmm. Like if you want a sandalwood, you don't grab nothing that smells anything like sandalwood in its natural form. Mm -hmm. That's what I was like, okay, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in my notes. (laughs) I took, I think, two classes, Mm -hmm. two or three. I don't know. I got so many notes from that and I am no closer to understanding. (laughs) I just know I have a good taste when it comes to fragrances. That's all I know. Uh Uh-huh. But yeah, that was uh, and there were people that had been taking that class for hell months and even years, and they came in with their own fragrance kit. Like they had their notebooks and their fragrance kit and all their own fragrances and samples and stuff. I was like, you can just do this at home if you this far ahead. <laughs> even the teacher, they had uh, he had his own 
uh, fragrances that he had made himself. He was like, so you can come up and sample these. He was like, I had made this. And he went through the whole how he made it. And so this is a top tier. So I would do this one. Smelled awful. I mean, everything he had stunk to shit. Mm. It was awful. People in there was like, oh, this is so nice. I'm like, y'all, we clearly got two different <laughs> things in mind because this is horrible. Um, and last, yeah. last but not least, on my end, and hopefully you have some that you would send me to on your end. Um, I almost sent him to um, like a bourbon class. Not so much bourbon tasting, but like for real bourbon making. Um, and it was more, it's not even, it's more like a course than it is a class. Like you would damn near get college credit for for it. It's just a real like in-depth. And I think at the place that I was looking at, they had a couple of courses. So one course was more on the business end and the in-depth like processes of the bourbon like industry and then they had more on like the bourbon making which I don't I mean I that that class I was like that is helpful it I don't think it was going to be as helpful as like actually being at a distillery or working at a distillery and like seeing the process from beginning to end and having to plug yourself in but it still sounded um really helpful and I can't remember what the third class was I remember seeing at least three um now the part of me that was like huh the thing about the DJing thing is like for the one woman she never plans on like that being a source right. of any type it's of just income. Fine for her. right so the only thing about bourbon making I don't know how fun it would be for you or how like it'd be so serious for you because of your passion for bourbon and, you know, interest in the bourbon industry as a business. But that's, that one would be more so, I don't know how, like. Yeah. Uh, from the research and everything that I've, uh, everything I've researched and everything I've experienced from the alcohol industry period is disappointing. It's so shady. Mm. <laughs> It's uh, just everything that I've learned, like the three-tier system, the gatekeepers, even the uh, to even distribution. It's all about reputation and who you know and who knows you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a good it's a good old boys club. Mm. It really is, and that and I've learned that firsthand. Um, but yeah, that that part of learning the business side is just like, oh, okay. So the, I see how this has to work now. That's why you got to come in being just a full force on your own, or not on your own, but like you got to be a full force to where they can't deny you. Yeah. Versus you being knowledgeable, because they don't give a damn about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on them not being able to, it not making business sense for them to deny me access. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. Um, so for Angel, hers would be, uh, one would be similar to mine. It'd be a cooking class on like specific, like deli, like, because Angel, she likes it when she cooks, she likes to do presentation. Like Angel would use garnish if we had it. She would do the little design like that uh, Michelin star type presentation. <laughs> like... <laughs> Even like the preparing of it, the sauces and everything, Angel likes to create things like that for, uh, not to say that's what she would be doing here at the house, but for her to be able to present something like this, for something like that for people to taste it, it'd be good. Mm -hmm. Like I think that like a chef type, you know what I'm saying? Like the sauce is cooking for like over a boiling for like five, six hours. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like of course not for her to do, but I think she would be, be neat and be intrigued by it. Um, what do you think about that? Um, I don't. I, I I I like it. I do like it some. I don't know how. Um, because cooking here sometimes be so. Like yesterday, I was on my feet, cooking, 
all day. And I was just like, this is this is what ends up yeah. draining me and makes me not want to cook and be like, can we just order food? Because yeah, But that's all stuff that like comes, like, you know, it, it was just about spending the time to do it. Yeah. And you was just standing when you didn't need to. And that was shocked me because I looked in the, I was out back. I looked in the window a couple of times. You were just standing at the counter talking. I'm like, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I knew I was going to have to get right back up to stir something to make something else. So maybe, maybe. I don't think I would dislike a cooking class, obviously. I have grown up cooking, so. Okay. Um, of course, doing like, I ain't talking about like just one class. I mean, taking full out lessons, stripper class, or not stripper, pole dancing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, would love it. I'm waiting for you. It could be even more basic. I'm talking. Okay. I'm, I'm just waiting to see if you get this one. I'm waiting to see if you get it. <laughs> uh, let me think. I don't know what else. Uh, there's a lot. There's not too much I don't think I could do. That to where you wouldn't be like, I don't know. <laughs> just the dance class. In just general, the dance class? I, if I'm I figured in, that was too easy. Like, I was trying to think of something creative, but of course, a dance class. If, if I had a dance classes to go to, all once different a week, types of dances. Oh, yeah. I got tap shoes that I plan on using. I just have to find the time to get down to where Chloe and them are. They're just so far away, and they take the classes on, the classes are on Sunday. I'm like, hey, I got to be committed, committed. That's it, though? Yeah, them three. I gave you one of the three. Well, the dance class? Yeah. Well, I was included. I was just thinking of, like, a specific type of dance. Mm -hmm. But, like, I know you tap. I don't know. not uh, What's it called? Not ballet. What? There is one. It will probably anger you. I'm not doing no. no. What? What? Just no, say what? it. I no, shouldn't no, no. be like that. I, I changed my mind. Go. What? I would love to know what you think I was going to say. Some though. type of dance class? No, oh, we're okay. off of that. That's why I said. Oh, well, you said I'm not getting ready to do. You thought I was saying a dance yes. class with you? Yes. Obviously, that would love that. I know you would. Obviously. Go Especially ahead. if what you went you in there with a good attitude. Obviously, that ain't happening. What were you going to say? <laughs> Any... We took salsa lesson together. And that was fun. Was it not? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. <laughs> oh, little that little man little, was little, swinging little, my husband. Little muscular man got my hands all over his hips. <laughs> <laughs> we over swinging each other in that hot ass room. <laughs> it's so funny because Marcus kept wanting to go into his fake salsa dancing. Mm -hmm. Why can't I just? <laughs> it's like, no, there are actual <laughs> steps. Oh, but if you took a hip hop dance class with me, yeah. what was you gonna say? Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm about to get to it for real. Would you ever take like a like not? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about we gotta be Missy Elliott music makes you lose control, but like a real groove class. No. A crafting class. Crafting. Yes. Either that, <laughs> if not a crafting class, then a what? What? Do y'all get it, Patreon? If not a crafting class. Cocktail class? Yeah. Oh, oh bartending. Yeah. Yeah. I have so many hobbies that That's I live out loud so... that I'm surprised yeah. that it's taking you like, it's taking you a while to like grab them out because of the air. Because I don't. Uh, oh, you saying like right now? Yeah. Not, no, that's what I. That's what I said. I could literally. I feel like I could grab. I could just look up what classes can I take. You know, like and just throw a dart and be like, she would do that. Okay. Outside of like, you probably even do it a painting class or something. <laughs> I would, but it wouldn't be one up there. Clay molding, like <laughs> glass making. What's it called? Glass blowing. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Not that, but if you if you did a scrapbooking class, absolutely, yeah, I'm not money on that. or a, a um, floral class, like how to do florals, like make a nice arrangement, absolutely. Yeah. Again, there's not much. I, I don't feel like there's much I could 
look up and sign her up for that she wouldn't be all about. Well, you know, I'm a forever student. So that yeah. is also what, like, I decided, oh, if Lala, I could have just watched a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to train Lala. I said, nope, we'll just take one-on-one classes. And she did great today. Did you see her? Mm -hmm. My baby was on it. Yeah, yeah. What class could what what classes could we take together? Uh, that you would be okay with. Arborist classes. <laughs> what is the arborist? That's the tree people, the tree experts. I think is that what it's called? Arborist. I think you're somewhere close. If you're not right, what is it, y'all? If you're not uh, right, you're close. I think we could take. Archery? Archery together, definitely. I think we would have a great time doing archery. Mm -hmm. Over shooting. Shooting because you have too much um, experience in. I feel like you would not let me be taught. You would be trying to teach me. No, I wouldn't. I don't let them instruct you, instruct you. Also, um, I th ah, there was something. I think we could take, I don't know, you wouldn't enjoy it, like a business class. I've taken business classes, and it was very interesting. Yeah, the one what I had to do when I was taking those courses, the because my team, well, I was the stuff that uh, stuff that they were going over. I was like, I could have just bought a book. Like the way they were presenting it to us, I'm mm -hmm. like, I could have just ordered a book and read this. Like, why am I doing it? And then the people on my team, well, two of the people were trash and shit on the assignments that we had to turn in. Like mm -hmm. they weren't doing what they were supposed to. That pissed me off. I still I, remember that woman's name. I was like, if I ever cross paths with you, I might slap shit at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I <laughs> she, think she, she made us like she made our grade so horrible. I'm like, you not even trying. I think we could take acrobatics. All right, fam. Uh, what would you? No. <laughs> you don't think we could take acrobatics? No. I think we could. There's a lot of stuff we could do. We could take MMA classes. But I, like, what about the the silk acrobatics? No, I ain't doing nothing. If I can't go parachuting, I'm not hanging upside down. I'm not putting saying my neck gotta, and collarbone in danger. I'm not saying hang upside down. That's silk classes. You, you don't have to suspend it up. You will you suspend it high enough? No, no, a lot of them you start off very low to the ground, baby. Mm -mm. You're very low to the ground. No, that'd be one I could do for you. You would love it. I would be ecstatic. See, again, possibilities are endless. What about a, um, what's that, uh, Indian? Kama Sutra. The dot? I don't know. Kama Sutra. That's a fighter from Street Fighter. Kama Sutra classes. Like the sex. Stones? Ain't that Kama Sutra? The, uh, that is. No, that's not. What is it? What's that called? Sa Chakra. That's the Chakra. chakra. Kama Sutra is sex, baby. Yeah, sex. You said, yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> could, yeah, could we do Kama is that, Sutra? Why'd you call it Indian? Is that an Indian thing? Yeah, Kama Sutra is Indian. Oh, I ain't know. Could we do Kama Sutra? Mm -hmm. Could we do one of them like sex energy classes? Like, we're not in a room having sex with people, but like, have you seen the ones where they're just like, no, we the dude is sitting on the ground and the woman is sitting on top of them and they're just holding each other? And they're just breathing. We would never take that serious. I would. You, you wouldn't. wouldn't. Yes, I Angel, would. Angel, you are the goofiest person in the house, including the dogs. No, you are we goofy. We can sit here and hold each other after this podcast goes over, and I bet y'all be very serious. You ain't got time. You got to go to school. I missed that time completely, love. Completely. You wouldn't be able to sit with me? Mm -hmm, I can sit with you. Let's take we could class. do uh, what? flight lessons together. Mm -mm. Yes, flight lessons. I know. My nerves are too bad. What about flight What lessons. about couples yoga? Remember we was out there? Uh, what about couples remember yoga? Remember that restaurant we go to? Yep, with Josh. We to? What about couples right yoga? There, stop. We uh, went out there. Yes, we sitting there eating I and said. People, I'm just telling them. Sitting out there eating breakfast and people got their own little personal airplanes that they walking up to. They finish eating breakfast. They walk out onto the tarmac. 
start that little plane up and taxi off. I was like, well, ain't that something? <laughs> Could we do? Stop. Don't do that. Because it's almost like the thing where somebody's talking to you and they're doing that. Would this be better? Could we do yoga together? Couples yoga? Mm-mm. I would have to warm up to yoga. I have to take like a beginner's, a beginning for a beginner's yoga. Not beginner yoga. I need the class before that. What about Pilates <laughs> together? No. After I warm up to the yoga and stuff. So possible, yeah. Wait a minute. What, why did this irritate you? Why did this irritate you? Why did you know these questions is annoying about doing these classes. No, I remember you used to want to do yoga, so I'm. I still do. Okay, so that's why I said couples yoga. That and wasn't. I said, and then I said. I heard your answer. Yeah. I wasn't saying it. You said you know these questions. These classes are annoying me, and I'm like. Because all the same thing, damn near. <laughs> what okay? What about Bikram yoga? <laughs> I hate Bikram, but if you did it with me, I would do it. I this is just just yoga in a hot room. Oh yeah, it's stupid. It stink. You don't even like. Uh, Steam rooms or saunas or either? Saunas are really hard for me. Because you can't breathe. Yeah, saunas are really, really hard. I don't mind either. Oh, I would love synchronized swimming. Would love it. Would you do that with me? Mm-hmm. That would be nice. But I would love to I do don't it. float, y'all. I would love to do acrobatics with you, though. Without... Uh... Like, I have to fill my lungs with air and hold my breath in order to float. Otherwise, I just, as soon as I exhale, my body just slowly descends. I'm like, okay, I'll float back up to the top. I just keep sinking. <laughs> it's a slow sink. I'm like, I, that, that, thing, that ain't true. Would you take singing glasses with me? Mm-mm. Piano? Nah. I would take singing lessons, but not with you, because it's typical. It's like the same thing with the us doing shooting classes. You have more experience, and you wouldn't just let me be taught. You would. I'm like, let the instructor tell me what I'm doing wrong, and not you. Erica, as trash as she is, she actually uh, gave me couple of lessons. Angel's best friend, Erica. It was so interesting because we've never seen anybody sing dead into someone else's eyes that close. She was instructing me the same. Yeah, Marcus, then they got to close their eyes and point. I'm like, no, you're going to tell me to do this? All right. <laughs> Marcus was looking dead at uh, And again, this is why I don't, because Angel got to tell you what you're doing in the moment that you're doing I didn't. it and remind you of it. I didn't. You're doing it now. Well, you brought up the lesson, so I'm just... It's, it's what I'm saying. You brought up the specific lesson, and I'm re- just telling them what I saw in the lesson. This is not to remind you. This is to tell them. Thank you. No, not that, Eric. I'm sorry. Our Angel's best friend, Eric. <laughs> Tamika, you a lie. Anyway. We'll see if any of these things no, you right to me for Christmas or for any other special occasion. She definitely wouldn't be serious. Maybe that's what we should do with all the kids. What? And ourselves for Christmas gifts because we don't need anything else. We phys- I don't be wanting decor, for Christmas. The, other than decor for the walls, we don't need a damn thing. So we maybe, don't need decor for the walls. We got these damn trees. Uh, trees. Shut up. What? Uh, you said we got these damn trees. You said the only thing we need is decor for the walls. I said we don't even need that. We got all these damn trees. We got five Christmas trees. That's not what I was referring to when I said decor for the walls. What you talking about? In general, decorating the house, not for Christmas. Oh. Uh. Oh, my God. What you mean? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> because you came at me off. Oh, we got these damn trees. Because that's something you would say. We don't have a lot of Christmas trees because you're goofy. Even though everybody sees the house <laughs> the way it's decorated for Christmas. Horse riding? Angel went horseback riding. I wasn't able to go. Well, weren't you able to go? I don't remember. I've been horseback riding multiple times. I think times. it was uh, 
It was Emily's birthday party. I think it was, it I don't was know if y'all did it while I was at work. I don't remember. It might have been. I have no desire to horseback ride. I like horseback riding. I enjoy it. It hurts my my vagina, my bougie, my butt. Then you need a custom saddle. I need not to be on a horse. All right. I thought I was coming up with a great idea for Christmas gifts for our children and us. But we'll move on. Yeah, you were. Was I? Mm-hmm. What would you get, little Marcus? You think? As far as a class? Yeah. I don't know. I, it would definitely be some influencer class. Either some way for him to maximize to his something. streams. Yeah, I was trying to think of something outside of like the stuff, but it'd or probably be best. animation class or an animation Animation. Because if he's, yeah, definitely animation. Yeah. Some way for him to turn, create his own animations and turn that into something comedic because he actually got a funny personality. He has to enter this contest. Ah, I can't tell y'all because it feels like it's cheating if I tell y'all. Anyways, the idea that he came up with was so intricate with the pieces of it. Because I was like, have you done what you need to do? Have you done? And he's like, no. He was like, oh, I was going to wait until the daytime because then he tells me all the, sh the basically the shot list. And I was like, hmm. bet. Yeah. I said, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I, want, love it. I want him to be able to put all the stuff that he does to action versus him just sitting on his computer talking to the screen. What about the twins? Oh, Lord. Uh, I want them, I truly want them to be able to take their martial arts classes. I definitely would want to put Sai in martial arts. I would just want to get Kai a trainer. A regular sports trainer. Like what, mm -hmm. you know, Lauren takes her son to, yeah. what Chance takes his son to. Where he gets to lift weights, where he gets to work on speed. I want Sai to do that too, though. Sai's so uh, naturally. Yeah. Naturally gifted. Just naturally practicing football with him. The way he uh, Kai has a stronger throwing arm, but the way Sai was able to pin, like I would basically take off running, and I'm like, pass me the ball, and I'm like, I'm sure your coach already told you, pass the ball to where I'm gonna be, not where I'm at. And when I tell you. When, when once he figured out how fast I was going, he was able to get that ball. It's like I wasn't even reaching mm. for the ball. I would just be running, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to intersect this ball. He did it like three times in a row, and I was just like, boy, you are good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then, of course, sometimes, you know, he, I take off running, and he throw the ball the opposite direction. I'm like, <laughs> what was that? But, <laughs> but for the most part, the mechanics, he understood, you know, what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Um and then Kai, I was shocked at how far he could throw it because, oh. you know, they always want to get at a comfortable distance mm -hmm. to throw you the ball. And I'm like, no, stay right there. Throw it. I pass it back to him. Like, go back further. He's like, I can't do it. I was like, do it. Mm -hmm. He throw it. But then Kai, I was like, shit, go across the street because he <laughs> threw that ball. I said, oh. Mm -hmm. He's strong boy. Uh, yeah, that's what. I, and then Amar. Getting some... Uh, Business class. <laughs> 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 no, Amari, he, I mean, his would be so easy. I don't even think I'll get him. I don't know. He's at that age to where a classes or something like that, he wouldn't benefit. He just wants to be at home doing his thing. So it'll have to be something here uh, that he would enjoy, something outside of the normal. I think he would enjoy cooking class because he always wants to help me. I think he'll enjoy piano once we sign him up. Because he has a really strong ear. Yeah. He taught himself. I don't remember what the twins was learning, but he taught himself the song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. So. I thought it was great. So I thought it was Jingle Bells or something. Mm -hmm. We played that thing, and then I ruined it. Because I was trying <laughs> to get him. I was trying to record it. And then uh, when I went to record it, he was hitting the wrong note. And I was like, uh-uh. Go to that note. And then it was over with. I was like, God dog it. I just wanted to record it. All right. Well, thank you to our sponsor. Uh, we greatly appreciate you uh, sponsoring us. And again, if you all, if they have any service or product that you all are interested in, please, please, please give them a try. Let them know that we sent you. You can get 
um, face moisturizer, face scrub, um, makeup remover, face mask, head wraps, purses, lipstick is coming back out. The lipstick that everybody keeps asking me about is coming back out on Mama Likes right now at shopmamalikes.com. Mama spelled M-A-M-A. Please go over there and support your girl as we get that thing back up and cranking. You can follow me on all platforms. At If you look for That Chick Angel, you'll find me. I am starting to do nightly TikToks, so you can come over there and chit-chat with me. And you can follow me on Snapchat, which I haven't figured out. <laughs> you, baby? Oh, and the, the vlogs. Once I get done with this, that's what I'm doing. I'm editing a vlog. It's going up. So back, if you yeah. haven't seen the vlog on Monday, you missed out. And we, uh, uh, well, we not putting up, we putting up the most recent vlog. We still got other stuff over this past summer that ain't been posted. Mm -hmm. And that's going to get posted eventually. Right. Did I understand that right? You said you wanted to work on that and I'm going to let you. What was you going to do with that footage? Uh, I said. Let it, it die? It, or maybe one day go back, but. Right now, in order to get a vlog up, I need to just be moving forward. That's going on Tanksley TV. That's what it's going on. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm just yeah, stealing. Hey, I'm just going to take it. I'm on most of it. Uh, no, y'all can find me on Instagram at Marks on the Gram, Facebook at Marks on the Book, TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can get my beard and body butter called Man Shit. A lot of those orders are going out today if you're on Patreon. If, you's on, if you're not on Patreon, it got shipped out on Monday. Uh, as y'all know, the personnel change, and I had to make more products, so I'm back to doing everything solely myself, so I'm getting caught up, so my bad again. Uh, but y'all can go to uh, M-A-N-S-H-Y-T.com, manshit.com. That's my beard and body butter. Get you some good stuff over there. Yeah. Until next time, you wonderful people. Also, make sure y'all stay tuned in to Tanksley TV for some possible vlogs. And also... <laughs> <laughs> uh, for uh, Taste It With Tank, uh, those episodes of, on Patreon go up on Wednesday. Um, for everybody else, they go up on Friday. I got a lot of good guests. We have fun. Make sure y'all go check out the one I did with Marquita. That one don't have as many views, but that was a really fun uh, episode, so make sure y'all check it out. All righty. All right, fam. <laughs>